Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to part two of my closet makeover. If you haven't seen part one, I'm going to be linking it up here in the cards as well as down in the description box. Um, but to pretty much summarize, I've been trying to do a little bit of a closet makeover because my closet was a very modern cluttered mess like the way that I organized it was just really really cluttered and I couldn't really see my vintage clothes the way that I wanted them to so I kind of wanted it to look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and a little bit more like have a more vintage aesthetic is pretty much what I'm trying to say so I really wanted it to look really really cute so I haven't really made any progress since the last video. The only change that I made um, is that I added this little matching set here on the door. Do you guys remember that I had that like houndstooth matching set hanging on the door? So I decided to change it and I ended up using this one. So this one looks like this. So it's a little like a black matching set that has a little bit of like a faux fur trim on it. So I thought this would look really, really cute. So this is what I added here. I got this hanger at the thrift store. So it's basically like a regular hanger and then it also has the skirt hanger underneath that way I can have the skirt right underneath it so it basically looks like this so I just have the hanger and then the skirt hanger as well it's probably made for like suits and stuff like that but I decided to use this for the little matching set and I think it works perfectly um, so now let's move on to the rest of the closet hmm. okay so now that I'm looking at it actually I feel like this is the command hook thingy that I had from before, but I feel like this is a little bit bulkier, so when I close it, it starts to hit the clothes. So I have a feeling that maybe I should put it up higher. That way when I close it, it's not going to be hitting anything. Hmm, okay. Something to think about. Let's move on to something else. I'm just going to leave that there for now. Um, okay, so then I have like the biggest thing that we're going to be doing today. I have a trunk and I mentioned this in the last video. I didn't show it in the last video, but I'm going to be showing it to you guys right now. I'm going to bring it in. It's kind of a big piece, so I really hope that it fits at the bottom of the closet where I want to put it. Um, I also have to give it like a really good clean on the outside because it has like dust and stuff on it. So, okay, I'm going to go get it. This is so exciting. Okay, so it's actually oh, not supposed. It's not supposed to be standing. It's supposed to be like lying down. But um, it's pretty large. Like you can kind of see, it's like have my hips almost. And I'm really, really excited. I believe it's from the 1940s. That's what it says on it. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna give it a good clean, and then I'm hoping to put it at the very bottom of the closet, and I hope to fit a lot of like vintage hats and stuff in here. Um, do you guys remember I had that really big box? of hats that I was kind of dealing with. I didn't really have a spot for it. So I figured I would transfer those onto this one. And yeah. So I ended up getting this at a vintage store. I paid $19.99 and then I had a 20% off coupon, which is very exciting. So it ended up being like, what is that? Like $15 or something. Um, so something around there. Oh my God. Okay, let me move this camera down. So it's actually in really amazing condition. The only thing that it really has is this like, tape on here that I have to clean off. It also had a bunch of like animal stickers on it. You can kind of see them there, but I haven't really cleaned it up yet. So I have a feeling those are going to disappear. I'm more worried about this tape that's on here. Here's the little price tag. $19.99. What a bargain. It also came with this ugly lock on it. So I just have to get that cut or like find a way to pick it so that I can open it. And then I think I'm going to get one of those cool locks that looks like an animal or something. That way I can actually lock it and it has something cool on it. Anyway, so now I'm just going to clean this up and see what we can do with it. I'm going to start by peeling off these price tags. Since the stickiness is not coming off, I'm going to be trying a little bit of rubbing alcohol and see if that'll take it off. So I just spent about an hour or so trying to get all of this tape off. I think I have pretty much all of it off. There's still, in certain lights, you can kind of see the stickers, but overall, I think it looks fine. You can't really see them, so it's fine. Um, so now I'm going to deal with the inside. It's actually really like impeccable on the inside. However, when you open it on the inside, there is this like cowboy inside here which is like super random i have a feeling this is in like a boy's toy room or something but there's this random cowboy in here so i feel like 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to peel it off. It is the next day and I'm still working on this trunk because it took me so long just to get that little like cowboy thing off the top of the inside um, but right now I'm trying to figure out how to squish this little piece of metal because on the bottom there's like a little flap of metal and instead of it going like flat and like wrapping around there's like a little piece that's going up like this so there's like a little point so when I put it on the carpet and like drag it it like pulls the carpet so I obviously don't want that so I have this hammer and I've been trying to like hammer it down for like 10 minutes now and it's not working so I'm not really sure how to fix that maybe I need like a metal hammer or maybe I could like sand it down maybe I don't know I tried it with a metal one and that worked perfectly so I feel like Bob the Builder. Okay, so now I have to tackle a little bit more of the inside because there's still a bunch of this paper on here that I have to keep trying to peel off. Um, so there's that. And there's also this like marker on here that says Barber Jen. Don't really know what that means, but I was trying to see if I can get it off. Um, I read online that if you use a little bit of like lemon on a Q-tip, you can get marker off paper because this is more of like a paper kind of background. So I thought I would kind of give that a shot. Um, if I can't get it off, then I might get one of those like vintage posters and just kind of like put it like on the whole back here. So have like different photos or something. That's kind of something that I was thinking about, but I'm going to try to see if I can get it off first. <laughs> Okay, so it didn't really work. It did kind of fade it a little bit, but then it also started to bleed, like the color started to bleed onto the paper as well. Um, I tried to keep the Q-tip really, really dry, like it wasn't soaked or anything, so I'm not really sure why it started running, but either way, I think it's a better solution to just kind of get like a poster or a photo or something. I think it'll look a little bit better. I'm gonna wait for the lemon juice to fully dry before I put any hats in here because I don't want them to get stained or anything. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually test to see if this trunk even fits in the closet. I measured it and it's supposed to fit, so I'm hoping that it fits on like the one side. Um, so yeah, let's try that. So I'm gonna close this up and open the door. I'm thinking maybe on the other side, so I have to move. So I was thinking on this side where all of my coats are and I would just put it along the entire bottom. There is a little bit more room going into the closet so I'm hoping that it fits but I'm a little unsure. Okay, so it technically does fit, but I'm not 100% sure about it. I love the trunk, but I don't know if it still looks a little bit too cluttered. I would obviously put like off-season hats in there so I wouldn't be opening it when I actually need them. I would have to just kind of like switch them out and it's just kind of more of a storage thing, but I don't know how I feel about it. This is what it looks like from far away and like, do you see what I mean? It's starting to look a little bit more cluttered again. Hi guys, so it's actually been a few days. I've been on the hunt for things for my closet and I just haven't been able to find the things that I'm looking for, but I did find a really amazing little small trunk. Let me show you. I think I have some clips from the thrift store when I got it, but here is what it looks like. Let me like hold it properly so you guys can see it. But it looks like this. It's really, really cute. It's kind of like a warm toned brown kind of shade. It's really, really nice. And this is gonna fit perfectly underneath my bed. So I thought it would work well for storage for like hats and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna be doing that today. So I thought today we would start out by going through all of my hats and that way I can kind of organize them in a more efficient way and having the ones for this season a little bit more accessible than like the summer ones, obviously. So yeah, I'm gonna go through all of them and hopefully get this closet finished. Finally, I feel like it's been taking like since the beginning of this year I've been working on it, so.
I'm gonna be starting out with this big box of hats. I don't know if you guys remember, but it used to be at the very bottom of my closet. Um, and it was really inconvenient to have them there. I mean, it was good storage-wise, but it was really annoying when I actually had to get a hat out. So I tried to keep the ones that were more out of season, but I ended up just kind of mixing them all up anyway. So it was just really annoying. So I figured I would kind of go through these ones first and see if there's any hat that I don't really wear anymore or I can part with. So let's start. Okay, no, this is like one of my favorite hats. This one is so cute because it has the little thing at the back. I love having the ribbon at the back. I think it's so cute. So this one has to stay. This one is new. It's like a little black one. This one I love for the summertime. It's like all made out of like little lacy little things. This one is really fun. I really love this little hat. I feel like I've worn this on my channel a bunch of times. It's very like 1960s. So I haven't really worn this in a while, but I do really like it. Um, this one I also haven't worn in a really long time looks like this. It's like red at the top and then black. Oh, this one. I, ha I haven't worn my 1960s hats in a really, really long time. I have this one too. Kind of reminds me of like an Audrey Hepburn kind of hat from the 1960s. There's that one. Then there's also this gorgeous green one. This one's like one of my favorites too. This one is fairly new. I think I wore this like back in the fall. Um, this one is really fun. I really like these colors very 1960s like mod kind of style but I think it's really really cute anyway this one I wore around Christmas time this one's really cool because it has a very like sailor kind of vibe to it which is really really fun I feel like you can never kind of go wrong with some nautical vibes these are the ones that are kind of debating about because I feel like I don't really wear them like this one's really nice Like this could kind of go for like a more like 1930s beach holiday kind of style if you know what I mean. So this one's like okay I guess. This one I got last year and I never wore it but I just love how delicate it is. You can kind of see, they kind of see through it and I just think it's really really pretty. I just, I feel like I have to find a way to style it properly. I don't know, I feel like wide rimmed hats like this just don't look nice on me. Like what do you guys think? I like it on its own, like I like looking at it, but I don't know how much I love it on me. And then the last one is this really, really big one, which, again, it's kind of similar to the other one. I never wear this one. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Okay, so I got rid of one hat. <laughs> I'm starting to think I have a bit of a hat problem and now do you see why I struggle to store all of these hats? I just have way too many, but I love all of them. Sorry the lighting is like so awful. It's like pouring rain outside and it's also almost five o'clock so it's really dark already. Um, So I decided to keep the vintage trunk just because I really like it and I'm not a huge fan of how it looks at the bottom of the closet. I think it is a little bit cluttered but I do like it and I do think it's going to be really useful to put away some of these hats. So I thought I would fill this one up. I do still have some of these papers that are stuck on here. Remember I was telling you guys about that earlier. So I am going to get some vintage posters. I just haven't really had a chance to do that. So I'll probably be doing that whenever I go to like an antique store or like a vintage market or something. Um, so I'm just going to put away some of these hats that I was left over with. I feel like I'll get a lot of room in here. Oh, I also have some fascinators I can probably fit in here as well, actually. These are probably the biggest ones that I have and I always struggle with how to store them because they're so delicate and so big but I think these will fit in here quite nicely actually.
So I know you can't really see me, so I'm just going to be talking, my face is going to be out of the frame. Um, but I also got this really big piece of lace that I thought I would put on top like this. Because if I am going to be putting shoes on top, this is going to be a lot easier to clean. Like I can just pop it in the washing machine. And then also just going to make it look a little bit more feminine when we see it from the top, I think. Hi guys, so it is the next day and my closet is finally finished so I'm really excited to show you guys the result. I'm really really happy with it, I think it does look a lot better. It's not like ideal because obviously I can't like take out my entire closet but I think within my budget and within the things that I had to kind of switch things up a bit, I think it actually looked a lot better. I was under budget, my original budget was $100 and I ended up spending $93 so I mean not too bad, it was underneath my budget so I'm pretty happy about it. and. Yeah, I think it looks really cute, so I'm just going to give you guys a quick little tour. Okay, so to give you a really quick tour, so at the top shelf I have all of those hat boxes and then I used the little candle holders or candlesticks as hat stands. I also added those two little statues just because they're really cute and I didn't have a place to put them so I thought they would look really nice there. Um, so then I have those. I have one empty candlestick that I can put a hat on there later on. Um, and then I have some handbags and then I have my really thick sweaters and these two other handbags and then I have some shoes there on the rest of the shelf. The hanging section basically looks the exact same, so I have all the dresses on that side, I have blouses, and then I have the middle section as like my midi like plaid skirts, and then I have all of my coats on this side. On the bottom shelf I have the shoes, and then I have this nightstand thing in the middle that has sweater vests. Um, on the box there I have a big petticoat, and then over here I have some more shoes, and the trunk with all the hats that you guys saw like a minute ago. So this store currently only has the bags here at the bottom that were there before, mainly because I don't have another place for them, but I am hoping to find like a really big piece of artwork that I can put here, or I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this section yet. And then on this store I have the matching set, and then on the bottom here I have like this little like divider thing, I guess you would use it for like travel, but I currently have like my really delicate tights on there, so I have like my everyday like nude kind of ones, and then I have the ones that have the stripe at the back, and then down here I have more like other things that you would have in your closet, like static spray, like that sort of thing. And yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. I really had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys while I do a closet makeover. If you didn't watch part one, then I guess the second part doesn't really make much sense. Also, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, as well as don't forget to follow me on Instagram at carepinglo, as well as subscribe to this channel and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on any new videos. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!